have a look at this question on muscle fibers and how you might go about answering it. It's a six mark question. So the question is, this race involves running 3000 meters and jumping over hurdles. And then we've got two images. Um, and then the question is examine how two different muscle fiber types are used by the athletes in figure three during the different parts of the race. So again, this is all about deciphering the question and looking at the marks available six marks available but there's two different images to discuss so straight away we can break that down into two three mark questions so the first part of the question is about muscle fibers related to running 3000 meters so hopefully we recognize straight away that in order to run 3000 meters it's a long distance so we need slow twitch muscle fibers specifically type one so our first mark is saying that when running 3000 meters type one slow twitch muscle fibers are required we then need to uh, discuss that muscle fiber in a little bit more detail so we need to to give some information on it so we can say that type one muscle fibers um, are resistant to fatigue and that would be enough for our second mark for the third mark, we need to make some sort of reference to the performance. So we need to, to relate to the performance. So we can say that using type one muscle fibers means that the performer can keep running for the whole 3000 meters without getting tired and having to slow down and stop. So that would be a, a relation to the performance and that would be our third mark. So then there's three marks available for the jumping hurdles part of the race. So the muscle fiber type that's required for um, jumping the hurdles is type 2X, um, which is fast twitch muscle fiber. So that's for one mark. Why is this? It's because type 2X allows for fast and powerful contractions. Um, so that's for our second mark. And then for the third mark in relation to the performance, if these fast and powerful contractions from type 2x muscle fibers um, weren't available then the uh, the runner would not be able to effectively jump over the hurdles and they may lose time when jumping over the hurdles so that's how very easily we can break this question down in order to get all six marks